guys, this is Kamikuno, and today I'm doing a review for A-Force issue 1, and before I start talking about A-Force, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course, I have Kamikuno episode 98, and that's the show where I review all the comics I read this week in one show. So here are the exclusive comics. We got Planet Hulk issue 1, which I have in-depth review on Comic Frontline 4, The Little Mermaid issue 4. Convergence Green Lantern Core Issue 2, which I also have in-depth review on Comic Frontline 4. Convergence The Adventures of Superman Issue 2. Uncanny X-Men Issue 34. Convergence The Flash Issue 2. Guardians of the Galaxy Issue 27. Daredevil Issue 15.1. Um, also, and so go be sure to check out Comic You Know episode 98, but also guys, I have the nomination video for the Geeky Awards, so if you have a favorite YouTuber, uh, so nominate there in uh, the video annotated. But let's talk about A-Force issue 1. So uh, this is definitely a big anticipated issue this week, the all-female Avengers team. Um, we got some awesome female characters here, I can name all of them, but we'll be here all day. Um, a very cool cover, like the artwork. Let's see what's going on in the story. But before we start talking about story, I just want to talk about the art, um, which is pretty good. I like the art there. It's a bit simplistic on some pages, but overall, pretty good artwork here. Um, except some of the facial expressions could be a little bit better. But again, um, pretty simple, um, good art. Uh, let's see what's going on with story, though. So with this issue, we get to see uh, this perfect world that they live on, um, which I'm trying to find the name. There is an island. I know it starts with A. Uh, Arcadia. So they live on Arcadia. It's a little perfect island with a garden and, you know, there's not a lot of crimes. And But all these female superheroes, there's also males there too, though. So like Luke Cage, you know, is living with Jessica Jones. It's very much in the background. Uh, but they're in the garden. Luke Cage is there. So I don't know why there's an all-female Avengers team, but I'm not, you know, complaining. It's great to see an all-female Avengers team. Um, but... They're, they're the heroes of the world, uh, but there are males in this world too, or uh, on, on this island. Uh, they're just kind of retired, you know, you know, taking care of Daniela there, because <laughs> Jessica Jones is not part of the team either. Uh, but that was just like a minor little cameo we saw in the background. Um, but yeah, this issue is about this team forming. She-Hulk is kind of this... She's the one to make the laws for uh, for this world, but also contacts Hulk or uh, Doctor Doom if something goes wrong. So she's like playing both sides and what is the law, what's not the law. Now they're figuring it out, uh, and now we get to see a big fight um, here with uh, one of the monsters that, or some shark that comes that comes into the island and. Um, Miss America does something wrong. She throws it out of anger. It breaks one of the walls of another um, area in Battle World, so a place that they don't live. Uh, so she actually has to go to kind of prison, their type of prison, um, because of this. And she Hulk makes the decision that they have to do this. This is Doc, uh, Doc, uh, Dr. Doom's rules. So everyone's kind of angry at She-Hulk in the end, especially Nico, who's made this bond with her. Um, uh, but by the end, we get to see some random person here um, fly into the world, which I think it's Kitty. I've heard that it, it might be another character, but it looks a lot like Kitty Pride. And it makes sense why she's not in the Star-Lord book. I would like it to be Kitty, because obviously I'm a big Kitty Pride fan. But if it's another character, hopefully she's interesting. Um, but yeah, this issue was okay for me. Um, I, I like the concept a lot. I like that it's all female Avengers team. There's a lot of great characters here. Nico from the Runaways, Dazzler in her old 80s costume, which is great. Um, learning more about Miss America, She-Hulk being the leader. I like all these ideas, but what I didn't like about the issue is I felt like it started in the middle of a story. Um, I was really confused of how this, you know, all came about. I'm like, oh, like, this is the only world they live in? What happened here? Like, I just saw a Dazzler with a, uh, you know, a punk-type haircut in Uncanny X-Men this week, and now she's in her 80s costume. I was very confused by that. Um, and then even Nico and Miss America's friendship. I'm like, where, where did that come from? Miss, uh, Miss America is a new type of character. I really wish they started from the beginning here. Um, and I know they kind of can't because they don't have the memory of their world. But I would like to, you know, see Nico and Miss America start becoming friends. At least that would make more sense. Like, oh, we've been friends forever. Uh, so I thought that was a bit weird. Uh, so yes, uh, the, the thing of starting in the middle or feeling like it started from the middle. Um, I liked Spider-Verse a bit better because... 
and actually explain that um, their memories were a bit foggy, that there was another world, and here they don't really explain that. It's just like this new world they're living in. Um, but I think this title has a lot of potential. I really like the roster, I like the idea of the book, um, but I think it might take a couple of issues to kind of get used to of it being in the middle of a story. But it was a really well done cliffhanger. There's a good story here and it, again it has a lot of potential of a book. And I will be picking up A Force to see where it goes. So A Force issue 1 for me gets 3.5 stars. I thought it was okay but again has a lot of potential. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic You Know. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also in the description below there's links for my comic book like Father Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father Like Daughter. I'll see you guys later. Bye.